Good morning, neighbors, and welcome back to the Now Morning Show, your Wednesday edition, where we are getting ready to talk kindness. On May 8th, 2022, the Red Cross will be observing International World Red Cross and Red Crescent Day. And to do that, I have two guests this morning to help me explore the facets of kindness throughout the country and the globe. So I say welcome and good morning to Mr. Ariel Kestens, the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Society's Head of Delegation. That was a mouthful. And my good friend, no stranger to the now morning show, Mr. Salon McDonald, the Business Development and Social Innovation Director for the Trinidad and Tobago Red Cross Society. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> well, big titles because big responsibilities. Indeed. I have grown up knowing the Red Cross exists and understanding that it's a safe place, a good place, and it's all about humankind. But this morning we're being more specific. What is in the cards for the Red Cross today? So as we celebrate um, World Red Cross Day on the 8th of May, which is the birthday of our founder, Mr. Henry Dunant, ah. we're this year looking at you know humankind. We've spent a lot of time, especially over the last two years, where we've understood in greater volume the value of being kind, mm -hmm. whether it's listening, whether it's lending a hand, whether it's just being there for someone. And this year, we utilize that as the theme globally. Right. And we want to commemorate that kind of kindness, where we want people to you know show, as we say, put it in the picture, do the symbol, and let's share acts of kindness all around. Right. Now that's something we can all get on board with because when we think about how much the Red Cross does, we often think of it in terms of tragedy, in terms of some sort of uh, almost like redemption. If something happens, we know we can look to the Red Cross for help. But it shouldn't just be in the times of help that we reach out to you guys. So how do we now, as the average man on the street, get involved with the random acts of kindness? <laughs> Well, um, hundreds of thousands of volunteers have joined the Red Cross during the pandemic mm -hmm. because there were three uh, big disasters uh, overlapping at the same time. You know, the climate crisis that induced disaster, right. the COVID, and things like my migration, for example, in Trinidad and Tobago. Right. Anybody can join the Red Cross at any time to, to show the act of kindness, right? To listen at any, at any moment. And um, this is the reason why we are celebrating during this week uh, now, have we seen then any sort of influx or greater influx of volunteers, considering, as you noted, the COVID pandemic, mm -hmm. the migration, the global climate change? Any sort of big impact in terms of On the volunteers? local front, definitely. Our yeah. National Society has seen an influx so of nice volunteers. So nice people. Yes, thank <laughs> you, Trinidad and Tobago. People have come in and at various skill levels. Okay. You know, um, we've even been able to open our Henry Dunant Clinic during this period, and it's fully volunteer. So doctors, nurses, and other people lending support, people trained in taking your vitals and so forth and lending a hand. Um, we've also got initiatives where we're giving seedlings. So you can start your garden. Well, that you was know. the next part of the conversation mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. as you're seeing that we open this new center, that's how we're going to actually uh, see these days of kindness roll out, right? Indeed, indeed. We've got a couple of different things. Kindness to family um, from Tuesday the 3rd. Kindness to friends on the 4th. Kindness to the workplace, you know, yeah, your colleagues, your comrades, right where you are. Kindness to strangers, and you know, this is TNT. People speak ill of us, but we, we kind to strangers. We like strangers. We do. You know, we take mm -hmm. care of it. And caring for the environment on Saturday the 7th. On so distinguish for me, what does caring for family sound or feel like? Caring for family means that in any given situation, you have family members who have been hit, especially in these last two years, by any number of things. Right. Um, mental health is a challenge, and we're seeing the advancements that we need to make. So, you know, make a listen, play a game, do a coloring book, okay. visit a relative that you have, and cook a meal, you know, find out if everybody's okay. Just mm -hmm. do a general check-in and see how you can lend support. Because we don't speak to a lot of what's happened to us mm -hmm. unless someone opens up the door and says, you know, it's safe to do that. Hmm. Yeah? Very true. Now, friends, we can definitely line with, we can check out, and we can do the same, I suppose. But tell me more about the kindness for the environment specifically, because that's where you're going to be doing the seedling. Uh, Correct. Part well, of it. Distribution, yeah, yes. part of it is, you know, distributing different kinds of seedlings like food and, and other things. But also, we're looking at doing the cleanups. We know what a beach looks like after trainees have had a good time. Mm -hmm. We know what our streets look like and what our neighborhoods can look like. So, we want to make sure that we show some love to the environment to be able to 
to you know minimize the impact of our huge human footprint. Mm. <laughs> My feet are bigger than yours. Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Gustin, in terms of the sister isle, do we have plans for this to go across to Tobago? How is this going to be explored throughout well, Trinidad and Tobago, the region and the wider Caribbean? Yeah, well, in the world, almost uh, one out of 500 people volunteer for the Red Cross or the Red Crescent, right? Nice. That's an amount of almost 15 million volunteers worldwide that are reaching out and serving uh, above 700 million people with disaster action, above 300, people, uh, 300, 3 million, 300 million people with health action, and <laughs> above 100 million people with uh, water and sanitation. And of course, all these activities are taking place in the Caribbean and uh, throughout uh, the Red Cross societies that are also placed in each of the countries of, of the nation island across the whole, the whole Caribbean, and that includes, of course, the sister island of Tobago. Tobago, we don't mm -hmm. leave it out at all. Mm -hmm. I like it. And in that case, if somebody wanted to get involved, tell us how to reach you guys. How you to just volunteer. hit us up, ttrcs.org. You'll get everything you need. Because we know this is the internet generation. Nobody really makes phone calls. So <laughs> <laughs> But if we want to do, what yeah. number can we call you? Yeah, you hit, <laughs> listen, you hit ttrcs.org and hit our contacts page. You'll be able to get phone, you'll get our Instagram handles and everything. All right, just touch us. Alive and well. It's so great to continue to hear the good work that the Red Cross continues to do. And of course, we want to make sure that everybody gets involved with the acts of kindness. So remind me of yeah. what the we're putting kindness. Is. We're putting kindness in the picture. We okay. want to share our various acts of kindness to show that, yeah, we're, we're doing some good things. We human beings, we can be kind. So humankind put the, the, the good stuff in the picture. You yeah. know, on Friday, um, you can actually join us at our headquarters from 9 to 2. Come on in. Um, we have various demonstrations. We have games for the kids. You can access services at our clinic. Right. You know, participate in some drills and, and help to even prepare yourself in the event that your community is having a, a a response to a disaster, you can be a part of that response and learn how to better be a part of that. So you come too. see us on Friday from 9 to 2. So we've got kindness to the family on mm -hmm. the 3rd of May, kindness to the friends on the 4th, mm -hmm. kindness in the workplace on yeah. Thursday the 5th, and kindness to strangers on the 6th. Now this is also open, uh, rather TT Red Cross Open Day. Yes. What does that mean? How is that different from... It's the same day. Um, on our open day, we invite you to come have a better idea of what happens at the TT Red Cross and uh -huh. how you can get involved. So you can come and volunteer, but you can also take part in demonstrations, um, drills, tour the ambulance, see what an emergency response would be like, take okay. part in a first aid class. For the kids, we've got the, uh, you know, Know Your Health and, and the Zika games because, you know, these uh, mosquito-borne diseases are still a part of our communities. Mm. So it's about ensuring that you interact with us and get a better idea of how TT Red Cross and the Red Cross movement has been a part of communities since our existence. Mm. So we've got the full transparency, understanding how the Red Cross functions. Mm -hmm. You've got the opportunity to volunteer. And you've basically covered every facet of your community, from family to friends. Come on so in. We to oof and the environment hats off to the Red Cross <laughs> and we continue to celebrate as we put kindness in the put picture. kindness in the picture and it makes so much sense we're very Instagrammable we might as well indeed now one last thing because you are encouraging persons to actually complete acts of kindness mm -hmm. random acts of kindness and share it online mm -hmm. we've seen where well, that has become a little bit a little bit one-sided because yes. people are no longer doing it for the goodness of it they're doing it for the likes as we like to say indeed so to the persons who are participating what would be the message you want to leave with them the message is um you know as was said and you alluded to the words of the song is for the love not the likes so what you're doing you're not doing what you call disaster porn you're not <laughs> putting out images that make people feel bad or look bad or make yourself mm -hmm. look superior you're showing acts of kindness so if you're cooking show all of you in the kitchen show the love put the sign on it you don't go out there and show yourself handing somebody some food and saying hey look at this look at it look in the frame mm -hmm. no no Show the acts of kindness. Don't be out there trying to promote that there mm -hmm. is a better than or there is a greater than. Mm -hmm. Just show the love, show some love, you know? And we know how to do that. We absolutely do. And you can do it for yourself as well, right? People who systematically engage in act of kindness across their own life, they live longer and they stay younger. Mm -hmm. And an act of kindness also gives some endorphins, which is the natural yes. painkiller of, of our brains. So, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 
kindness to yourself to others the real fountain of health mm. And you. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining me this morning. And for those of you viewing at home, you can get in on the action too. We want you to continue to give us random acts of kindness. Put kindness mm -hmm. in the picture. And make sure that on May 8th, you join the Red Cross and continue to make our communities and the world at large a better place.